Hi, welcome. This is the introduction to the Kapala Bhati breathing. And uh, Kapala Bhati means skull shining, um, self illuminating of the skull or lighting of the skull. And it's called that because it, uh, it's really increasing energy and clearing uh, toxins and mucus out of the skull. So it's great for um, really purging a lot of excess chemicals in the body because we're doing some really deep breathing into the, uh, the lower lobes of our lungs. And uh, there'll be some information about uh, the, bre the breath practice itself in the introduction section to that uh, particular practice. And there's some external links where you can read more on some of the health benefits that it provides as well. Uh, Dr. Uh, John uh, Duyard is, um, is one in particular, I think, that really goes through a lot of the science behind this particular practice. So I just want to invite you to tune in along with me. Um, you can go ahead and listen in and then we'll do the practice. Um, but before we, we do uh, the actual tuning in and the example of the, the breathing practice, I just want to give you um, a, a quick overview of how the uh, Kapala body breathing works. And so that um, is very simple, actually. It's just holding your hands at your navel point, and you're going to exhale what we call pump out breath and then naturally as you pump out your body's going to want to breathe in at the end of it and you're going to do this through your nose and i would just recommend trying it 10 times and we'll go ahead and do it for 10 times in our example uh, practice here on this video so but the real quick uh, showing before we start is just to So you can see I'm pumping in. I'm not actually using my arms. My arms are just following my stomach. I'm pumping in uh, the exhale, and then naturally the inhale is happening. And the key to this is not to do it too hard. Uh, you'll know you're doing it too hard if you get dizzy. That's a really good indication. And if you're doing it too much, you'll get dizzy. So also step back from the practice, take a break, or just stop for, for the moment um, in doing it if you do end up getting dizzy. And, you know, like we say, with all of our practices, um, please consult a physician. Um, look at the pr uh, precautions that are uh, included in the introduction uh, lesson in written form check with your doctor, don't do pumping actions if you're pregnant or if you are on your moon, um, and then other conditions that you might wanna be aware of as well to keep an eye out for. So it's very, very simple. Um, as you build into this practice, you can do it more and more. You can do it um, three sets of 10. You could do up to uh, three sets of 36, which equals 108, which is a nice magical number that we can get into uh, later as well. Um, nines are a special number in these, in these sort of meditation practices because um, nine has some, some good magic to it. You know, nine for many different mathematical reasons is, is a magical number. Anyway, um, we won't go there in this video. So we'll go ahead and we'll tune in and then we'll do the Kalabadi breathing practice. Okay. So to tune in, we're gonna close our eyes. We're gonna put our palms together and rub them. This gets the 70,000 nerve endings in the, in the hands going, helps to awaken the rest of your nervous system. You're gonna breathe in three times very deeply. So place the hands on the navel and we'll pump breathing. Kapalabhati breathing 10 times. Ready, begin. It's that simple. 
So go ahead and try that practice and see what it does for you. The first time I did it, even though I had done a breath of fire, as we call these pumping actions breath of fire, because they really bring the fire out within our energy system, I felt lightness happen in my skull. Um, it was really good clearing. And then additionally, you know, these practices all are um, considered to be Ayurvedic as well. They have different responses within our various doshas. I'm not as familiar with the Ayurvedic system, but I thought I would bring it up in case you are. Uh, the Kapala body breathing is more of a kapha uh, breathing practice, and so it really helps to clear mucus. For those that aren't uh, kapha, but are maybe more pitta or vata, um, it may be too much to do too much of it. So um, just keep, keep that in mind. And um, with the other one as well that we're going to be doing, it, it is also more of a, a cleansing of the, of the brain and the mucus system. So um, just to, to keep that in mind that... Um, with all of these practices, you're developing self-consciousness and what is working for you and what doesn't. And so notice that. Take notes. That's why we journal. We write about how we're feeling. Um, we re remember throughout the day how the practice may have helped us or hindered us. And um, so it's just a good thing to be aware of so that you can modify, either do more or do less, depending upon what works for you. So um, just an FYI, and we can explore that further, or if you happen to know a lot about Ayurveda, um, we would appreciate your comments as well. So thank you so much, and um, go ahead and enjoy the next practice, which is the Brahmari, or bee, uh, bee breath, humming breath. All right. Thanks so much. 